Hey everyone, sorry in this video I was like two days late because I was having some problems. Um, the main problem being that someone on Tuesday decided I was out in town, right, Tuesday morning, like 10 o'clock, um, and I'm getting texts saying from my friend saying, What's happened with your Facebook? And I'm like, What are you talking about? And she's like, um, What's happened to your Facebook? Someone's on your Facebook, they've changed your display picture, they've been doing this, they've said this, they've posted stats, it's like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I was trying to sign in on my phone and it's saying the email address and the password is not correct, it wouldn't let me on. So, uh, little maniac could obviously decided to change my um, password. They'd hacked my Facebook and my email account, but thankfully it was my spare email that just had my Facebook on it, so I didn't get anything else. So this and anything else wasn't affected, just that. And they were on there, and obviously I'd Obviously, the night before, I checked my emails and that I was getting a lot of strange spam emails and a lot of rubbish on there. And my posts on Facebook were disappearing. So, yeah, it looked kind of weird. And then, obviously, I came home and then went straight back down my bunnies. And I was getting texts from Blackberry Messenger all day saying, Someone's on your Facebook, they've changed your name to Leanne Fullercox, they have actually um, posted that I have genital herpes, which I don't. Um, and that I have, um, and that I'm pregnant and stuff, which I'm not, and just really weird things like that. And then apparently, I um, posted a picture of a gorilla and said it was my mum. I showed that to my mum, she couldn't stop laughing. So, but luckily, I found out who's done that. Um, so yeah, um, and there's only someone getting involved, sending a bit of abuse around, thinking it's all clever because they wanted to be a bit involved in this. But anyway, yeah, now that's dealt with, that's sorted, so that's what the video is like. Basically, I... My septum piercing. I've changed it, obviously, because I couldn't wait. It was bothering me, it was so big when I tilted my head forward, it was like flopping about. It was like huge, it was that size. If you look at my other videos, you'll see it. And you can see I've got a better webcam now, because I've got my new laptop. So that's perfect, actually. Um, and... I changed it, it's now 1.2, you can see it's tiny, like that's a 1.2 size ring. Um, it's just, it's like one of the, I think it is the smallest you can go um, with a scepter. Um, yeah, it depends on how low down the scepter is going to be as well. Some people get it done quite, their sweet spot's fairly high up, or they just have quite a high, wide nose and they have to have it done quite high. Um, but mine's been done like really low. So, yeah. Um, it seems fine, it's been a lot better. A few days ago, it had like, um, when I, I was sitting like in my room, and then all of a sudden like, and I was starting to feel weird, and my nose was feeling weird, and then all these blisters came up on my top lip, and it was all funny and weird. You might still be able to see some pink marks around here and that. It's, it's really strange, and my nose kept like stinging and really hurting. It felt like it was going to bleed, but it obviously didn't. And then, um, it turns out, and this hasn't, this here thing up here doesn't seem to have healed amazingly well now either. Um, but the reason for that is it, the bottom septum and the half industrial are um, were done with surgical steel, and I'm allergic to surgical steel. So I had to put a titanium one in. Um, but that's all sorted now, everything's absolutely fine. Um, uh, I don't know what to say about it, apart from when you downsize it to a 1.2, you can obviously still get the 1.6 back in, um, because it's not a massive size up, but the 1.6 is a very thick ring, um, 1.2 is obviously very small, you can see the size of it, if you look at my other videos you'll see the size of it, um, you can see it's a lot shorter as well, it's a lot more comfortable, it doesn't flop about, the only problem with it is, it can only flip just inside the nose and it stings when it does that. So I can't really flip it um, easily anyway. Uh, obviously I can turn the balls off, but the balls are very, very tiny on it. It's not meant to get on when it's so small. Um, yeah, I was hating it for a while. Um, all the last week I was like, I hate it, I don't know why I've got that done. I hate it, I can't stand it, I can't even look at it. I've hidden it for a few days and I just couldn't bear looking at it. And then I decided I'll change it and see what it's like. And then it brought, brought them blisters up and I was like, 
so I went and changed it and now it seems a lot better it's absolutely fine and I'm starting to like it again it obviously looks different in person because this is like a foggy webcam it doesn't really show much but it's better than my other one uh, you can see that it's like just hangs out my nose really uh, I saw a picture of a cow that had a really good one and I was so annoyed because I was like why doesn't mine look good like that and now I changed it and I'm like mine looks as good as the cow's yeah um, it didn't hurt to change it because obviously I changed it like I got it done on Tuesday three weeks ago on Tuesday and um, it's on Tuesday it was done with a very large ring that was like, practically touching my bullet not my actual lip and um, you, if you look at the first three years of it you'll see a great big like a grey silver coloured ring and I changed it to a wider one a wider fatter bright silver one it was sparkly which looked a lot better and now I've changed it to this little black one which looks a lot better it goes more with my like hair and makeup and my other piercings and that um, I just need to change this lip one over again so I like to change it this week because it was tried to put wall closure the same as that one in but a bit smaller and um, wall closures are a nightmare to get in they're easy to get out they're easy to open you just can't close them this one took me two hours 45 minutes on Tuesday I spent from like afternoon time to I can't remember what time in the afternoon it was I was at my granny's trying to do it at like half one um, and I still haven't managed to get it in yet because that's more than fiddly some people put ball closures in there to but I couldn't imagine putting one in there that would just be too much of a nightmare um, I couldn't imagine doing it in my ears either some people do it on their nose here as well I don't know how they get it in and some people can just do it easier, it depends on the ring though and if you've got pliers um, I can't really think of anything else to say about it, it's like pretty much fully healed It'll be a month on Tuesday that it's been done. In fact, it's now Friday. So, you know. Mm. It's near enough a month done. Uh, pretty much three and a half weeks done now. Uh, it's absolutely fine. I could change it about four days after I've got it pierced. So, and it had no problems. It seems to be fine now. I've not had any issue with it apart from the um, metal allergy. But you can't really help that. So anyway, I'm going to finish this video up and post my next one, which is belly bar update. I've got to update my belly bar, so which I've got a story about that now. Um, see you in a minute.